20% over the last three months. Now, you have an indexed commodities fund. So how do you capitalize on, I guess, smoothing out some of the differences in what's happening with individual commodities? Well, most of the uh, exposure uh, for retail commodities is long only, so you can only benefit if prices rise, like the CRB index, which are good proxies for uh, the commodity space itself. Uh, but our approach, the Direction Index Commodity Strategy Fund, is a more dynamic approach to commodity investing, where based on price trends, it'll either be long a commodity if it's showing a favorable price trend, or if a commodity is showing a downward price trend, that individual commodity would be in cash. Right now, as a result of the majority of commodities being in a downward trend, the majority of our portfolio is in cash. Really? So well, let me ask you, can you completely throw out a commodity or two? Sure. Well, all right. So you might have a smaller concentration at various times. Correct. We have 12 commodities uh, potentially within our index. And the index is the Auspice Broad Commodity Index. It's a long, flat commodity index, as I mentioned. Right now, we're only long three commodities. That can change over time based on price trends. Soybeans, uh, cotton, and crude oil. The other nine commodities, again, because they're showing a downward price trend, are in cash. Is, is that unusual for you, to be positioned the way you are at the moment, with only three, being in three commodities and the rest in cash? Well, again, price trends are going to dictate that. And as you uh, alluded to, it has been a tough year for the majority of individual commodities. There have been some exceptions most notably crude oil and cotton. Uh, so we're looking at our strategy as a rules-based approach, again based on price trends, to determine whether to be long a commodity, individual commodity, or if that commodity is showing a downward price trend in cash. So we are defensive right now because the price trends dictate.